Hi crafty ones, this is Pam, Pam's Paper Place, and I wanted to show you a couple uh, hauls uh, for junk journals that I found at some thrift stores that are near uh, where we're um, staying at this RV park here in San, uh, New Brunfels. Um, and it's a couple different places that I've gone to. So I thought I'd show you. I love these Reader's Digest. I'll just, uh, I mean, this is beat up, but um, I'm hoping I could save that for like a bookmark. But I love this cover. And they had quite a few uh, Reader's Digest. I do have some at home. Uh, so I just got the ones I really loved. And I love this one so much for the colors and for that little, the little deers hidden. So I got two of them because I loved them so much. So if I make one for myself and one uh, to sell, this one's a little worse. So, but um, let's see what the year is. But then look how pretty this is the blue and the little um, blue and pink there. 1963. I even like that. So, see, it's kind of coming apart. So, I think I got those for $2 each. Very sweet. Love them. Um, let's kind of go with some paper. I'm dropping things some paper things I got oh this was a dollar that was pretty reasonable it's um just some kind of stationery uh, and it's already like has the look of aged paper so it even has the edges I've never seen that before so that was great I'm just kind of throwing things on the couch over there um I got this Dover coloring book common weeds coloring book and these would be great for a garden type journal. You could add those pages. I like that. And I always pick up if I find graph paper or some uh, unusual type paper. It's a darker blue grid and a lighter grid. So I like that. 4x4 four four quad notebook. Uh, let's see what else. I got a pattern. I do have a lot of patterns at home, but I kind of like the soft colors um, of this pattern, Butterick. Um, and I don't, I didn't find a year on it. But I thought that would look good in the journal that I'm working on. Pretty. I've got. This little stationery pack. Look how sweet that is. And then you have these papers. And then these are the envelopes on the side here. So pretty. So I got that. This would even be pretty to cut out. I found cards. And they're really pretty with the the roses because I have a shabby chic one going. Some just really pretty cards. Ooh, look at that one. I like daisies, wildflowers, and wildflowers. Two of those. There's another one of the basket of fruit. Oh, that's pretty in the vase. And the rest are envelopes. So that was a dollar, I believe. Yeah, dollar. And then I got another pack that was a dollar twenty-five. And you can use the envelopes too. Here's pretty roses. How cute that is. Oh, I love this one with the bunnies. And the lighthouse. This is pretty. That'd be a nice shabby chic or garden journal one. Another lighthouse, a little farm, that'd be good in a farm one and kind of a garden journal. This could be shabby chic or whatever you'd like. And a little seascape. 
so we have all those. Good deal. For a dollar. You know, I did go to a different place and they had vintage um, cards or different cards too. Um, I don't have that here, so I'll have to do that later. Oh, I've got to find that. So that's that bunch. And here's just some note paper. You know, I could go almost anywhere. And you just write right over it or on the back. Um, look how cute. I paid a little much for this. This is $3. I was thinking it was half off on red, but it wasn't. Stickers. Isn't that cute? It's a paper doll. Raggedy Andy. Five costumes and two hats. And then they have the little costumes. So it was originally $3.29 and I paid $3, but whatever. It's cute. It's from 1995, so those are adorable. For a, um, I want to do a Raggedy Ann or Andy uh, journal at some point. So many journals, so little time to make. And this is cute. Um, wrapping paper by Current Bears and Toys. Aren't they cute? I don't usually find wrapping paper, so this is a good score. Look at, uh, I think this is Christmas because it has the little bonnet girls with poinsettias and peppermints and then candy canes. This is Hallmark. Reverse a wrap. Different designs on front and back. So the inside must be different. So I have that. Uh, oh, I have more from the same thrift store. I got this wallpaper. It has a little frog, a turtle, hydrangeas, and some bunnies. And then it repeats. That's cute. You know, I need to sell more things in my uh, Etsy store, Pen to Paper by Pam, um, other than just my journals. You know, I need to do little packs of things. Maybe when I get back to Michigan, I'll do that. This is 50 cents. Little, I love Rick Rack. Little tiny pink Rick Rack. I got this stamp. It says Pray Without Ceasing. And then it has, you know, morning, noon, and night. So pray morning, noon, and night. That was really cute. And that was by 1993 Embossing Arts Company. Um, I got a lot of this type of, what do you call this? Eyelash trim or fur, fun fur. And this color, I thought these would be good for making nature type journals and then i got this fun fur eyelash trim or whatever you call it fun fur beach runs cha cha and it's kind of a per pretty blues and aquas greens okay then i'll show you <clears throat> excuse me um some more bits and pieces of laces and things this is a lot of this I got it for three dollars it's uh i could dye it different colors it has this little flower motif in it and it's you know pretty wide probably about three inches maybe four three <clears throat> love that and this is just a little bunch of this uh ecru color lace pretty any lace I always get in doilies. This was 25 cents, which is a great deal. <clears throat> and then I got one of these. It's kind of coming apart, but I still could use it. A piece of that. Um... And then two of these little pieces. So two of those. I found a little hanky. I don't know if this is vintage or not, but I like that little peachy color to it. Very delicate. And then... <clears throat> 
this was loose in a bin. So this I thought was pretty because it has this pearl along the edge. Little pearls. Sheer with the ruffle. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I got this. It has all this crochet on the edge with flowers. And, you know, it does have a little yellowing, you know, where it folds, <clears throat> where it's been folded. But I thought that was pretty. It's like a big table runner. Here's some more. That side. Love anything embroidery. <clears throat> this was, um, well, this might have been a sheet, I think, but I thought it was pretty with the blue and pinks and greens that I could cut up. I found some braiding for $3 pack of that. Um, these were for um, table napkins, cloth napkins. But look how pretty and spring-like that is. Isn't that pretty? Got tulips and daisies and very cheerful. So four of those. Oh, there's a hat, so maybe some of them are different. Um, then I found, I thought this would be great for either a nature journal or boho. Looks like a piece of uh, like upholstery fabric. Oh, I guess that's a flower there, maybe. But it's a nice thickness. And one more. This is like a grab bag. And inside, these are my favorites. You get like grab bags of things. I've got this green lace. Be fun for Christmas. I don't have a lot of this color. Or garden journal. I've got some red fringe. I like fringe. Pretty for Christmas. Um, oops, what is this? A little lace. You know how they have the lace seam binding or hem hemming for hems. Be cute for little uh, tag ties. I've got some. You can't go wrong with little pom-poms. A little bit of that. And then some fringe. Black fringe. I don't have a lot of black. I don't use a lot of black, but um, this is fun. We have some, oh, I love this. This little, I love eyelet, and then with the color yellow on it. Sweet. I have some really pretty eyelet. Love that. A little piece. <clears throat> I've got some lace. Kind of looks a little crochet-like. This is still in the packaging. Isn't that sweet? You can put a ribbon through that. Eyelet. I love this crochet ruffle. If you want something not too frilly, this is really pretty. So, I don't know, maybe half yard of that. And then in here, this was a package fabric, five yards. It was a dollar back in 1996. I'll cut that. See what we got. So isn't that fun? I love those little grab bags. Oh yeah, it's a little ruffle trim. 
pretty. Okay, then I, the last of that was I got some manila envelopes. Can't go wrong with these. And it was 26 for 350. So I got some manila envelopes. Okay, and then I went to, um, in green when we went, um, there was an antique place, which was expensive, so I didn't, the only thing I got were some postcards, which I think were like a dollar each. Uh, this might be like a, I don't even know if this, I don't know, but cute little uh, Dutch couple, because uh, I want to do a little Dutch journal sometime. I'm part Dutch, German, English. And then I found this cute little girl. I love old photos. I don't find them much, but. So, love that. From Bertha Strunk. And then here's a little, I think they have a contest in, is it golf, crochet? Uh, oh, a driving contest, so. Golfing. I think I got 10 of them. I got this really pretty, it's like embossed postcard. It says happy birthday. And I got this one. Pretty violets. Edith from Auntie. Look at this one. Somebody in New York City, New York. 1907. Has a little cottage. This one, 1910. Another little cottage. I like the little cottage. Easter greetings. And I've got two more from 1909. It's another one of these embossed poppies. Look at this one. It has like gold foiling pansies. I love pansies. It's beautiful. 1910. And then one a picture. Look at these ladies. Ah, uh, I love it. I love, love, love it. Doesn't have a date or anything on it. So that's just what I got at that antique place in green. And then this was at a thrift place. It it was kind of uh, all over the place in boxes and things. So I didn't find a whole lot. But um, oh, there's oh here. I did like this. I like the sound of it. This little heart bracelet. I you love that, that noise. I can dance, stop it. But it has these little charms. I thought I could take part. You, you are, you are my sweetheart. And I think two of them open up. That's pretty with the heart there. You are my dear. Then I found this. Uh, I don't know. I pay two dollars for this, but I thought for Easter this would be really fun. Look, it has little bobbly things. These look like Easter spring colors to me. And so I got that. And then I found these little um, Easter eggs. They look like, you know, you would put them on a little Easter tree. They look wood. Oh, they were from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I thought that would be fun on a tassel. Or... And then I got this stationary, I guess, yeah, it's uh, current. And they're like little cards, but they... 
you know, have little flowers along the edge. I don't know if you're supposed to fold them in half. Not they are exactly, but they'd be great pockets, or I could fold them in half for little booklets. Like that. And then they have the envelopes with them. Large envelopes. Yeah, this place didn't have a whole lot, but <clears throat> I did find these. This is a Vita Craft, the Vita Seal system. And I didn't find a date, but um, it's kind of a fun little booklet. How to use this modern design. Vita Craft booklet. Those are the things you can get. So, yeah, I don't have a date. And then I found another little book, couple of those little booklets. I think I have another one just like this. I mean, it's pretty worn but we don't care sunbeam controlled heat fry pan yeah i'm pretty sure i have another one of these i think my mom had one like this sunbeam 1953 those are all the sunbeam i think she had an iron like that fun then a sunbeam mix master look at that fancy so look at the cakes. I like this one. 1957. There's all the Sunbeam products. Okay, two more things. This one's kind of ripped up, but I'll, I'm going to make tags out of it anyway. Ask Mr. Bear by Marjorie Flack. Aren't they the cutest little illustrations story and pictures marjorie flack ask mr bear 1930 copyright 1932 what wow huh but look at that isn't that sweet look at him these pictures are so cute i love the colors the goat sweet Ah uh ha -huh. ha, that is adorable. So Danny and the hen and the goose all hopped along until they met a goat. <laughs> Very sweet. Huh. Okay, I don't know if that's... 1932 was the first. Uh, 1932, is there one after that? 1971. Okay, 1971. Then I have this one already at home, but I love this one so much. It's the uh, Perennials Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. If I find something I really like, I'll get it again. If I find it, it has what I like are the... Uh, I used to garden a lot. That used to be my passion, and now junk journaling. But it has these illustrations that are pretty to make into tags. Very pretty. So I like the uh, drawings rather than the photos. So that is my haul. Thanks for watching and um, we will see you later. Bye bye.